Traverse City has always been known as a family-friendly destination, but the wine industry is helping lure in a more diverse crowd to the area. It's a whole new demographic, I think, for the region is this uh, idea of a foodie traveler. People who would not have heard of Traverse City before suddenly begin to be curious about this place, not just because it's a beautiful up north vacation destination, but because it has a fascinating wine and food scene. According to the Michigan wine industry, sales of Michigan wine rose more than 6% in 2012. Michigan wine sales also outpaced total wine sales over the past 10 years, doubling Michigan's winery's market share to 6.5%. In the last 10 years, things have simply accelerated uh, and we've seen more national and international recognition for our wineries. Increased recognition has led to an increase in production. Officials with the Department of Agriculture say in the last decade, Michigan's wine grape acreage doubled from 1,300 acres to more than 2,600 acres. One of the state's newest properties being built here in the heart of Old Mission Peninsula. It's called Hawthorne Vineyards owned by Bruce and Kathleen Hawthorne, some local Michigan residents that have a passion for gardening and now an extreme passion for wine. Hawthorne Vineyards will have a grand opening in May. It will be the eighth winery on Old Mission Peninsula. It will add to a business that welcomes more than one million visitors statewide each year. An incredible number of tourists who, according to the Michigan Wine Association, pump more than $800 million into the state's economy each year. For 7 and 4 News, I'm Brody O'Connell.